Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install MySQL on Windows so that you can start creating your own databases. So let's begin. So first of all, you need to go to your web browser and in your web browser, you need to search for MySQL and hit enter. You will see this first link MySQL.com. You need to click on to that link. And uh, this is the MySQL official website. From here, you need to go to downloads panel and in downloads panel, you just need to click on to MySQL community version. So this MySQL community version is the free version. Other all the versions are paid versions. So in this course, it's not necessary to buy the premium versions. We can just download the community versions and you will get all the required features to learn this course. So I'm just going to click on to MySQL community and here you need to select for MySQL installer for Windows. So once I click on to that, you need to click on to the first link. So if you click on to that, it will ask you MySQL community downloads, login or new sign up for free account. We don't need that. You just need to click on to no thanks. Just to start my download and it will ask for where you need to download it. So in my case, I'm just going to download it on desktop and it installer is downloaded. So I'll just go to installer and here I'm going to just double click and open it. This is our MySQL installer. So here you don't need to do anything mainly here installation for MySQL is very simple. You just need to click on to next and only in some places we are going to see what changes you have to make. So here developer default and here I'm just going to click on to next. Now you see this is the check requirements. So it is actually this my SQL for Visual Studios. It is it is showing me that Visual Studios is installed on your computer so you can just use the extension for the connection for MySQL server to Visual Studios. I'm not going to do anything onto this. You can also just click on directly on to next. I'm just going to click on to next and then you need to click on to yes. Now here are all the servers that you are required to download. So the first one is the MySQL server and the second one is the MySQL workbench. This is the server that we are going to use to create a databases and this MySQL workbench is just the graphical tool or you can see the say the editor on which we are going to work on and other are the requirements for our server. So here I'm just going to click on to execute. You don't need to do anything. I'm just telling you what these things are. You just need to click on to execute and uh, it will start downloading the required files for you. So now this will take some time. So I'll just skip this. And here you can see all the files are downloaded. So I'm just going to click on to next. And then here you can see all of these things are ready to install. I'm just going to click on to execute. I'll skip this part as well. So the installation is complete. And uh, you can see this one is not installed properly because it is not supporting the version of Python that I've installed onto my machine. So that's not a problem. We'll see to that later. And you might not get this error if you, if there is no Python installed on your computer, it won't give you this error. Now you just need to click on to next and just click on to next. And uh, here is the settings for your networking. So you don't need to do anything. Just leave it as it is and just click on to next. And you need to use now here you need to create the password. So you need to click on to use a strong password encryption for authentication, which is recommended. And then you need to click on to next. Now here you need to create the password for your root admin. So admin though. So this will be the admin of the server. So here I'm just going to create my password.
and once you have created the password you just need to click on to next and everything you need to just leave it as it is you just need to click on to next and then you need to execute so you just need to click on to finish now and then you need to click on to next and here you don't need to do anything you just click on to finish next and here you need to give the password that you have created so i'll just give my password that i have created earlier we also want to give that password that we created two steps earlier and you need to click on to this check option so connection succeeded so this uh, server is connected successfully and just need to click on to next and then you need to click on to execute again and just click on to finish then click on to next again and you need to click on to finish and this will start the workbench which is the editor the workbench is the editor or you can say here we are going to write the program just need to click on to finish and this will open a cmd file you just don't need that you can just close it and here is the workbench so this is the graphical tool which i was telling so you i'll just min maximize it and uh, here how it looks like so this is basically the editor or this is the workbench where you can write and you can manage all your servers on your machine so here by default once you have followed all the steps properly there should be one connection shown here so my sql connections so this is the connection that we created so a root was the name of a connection like name of the username and then the connection name is local instance and this is the root that means this is the admin and uh, we set the password for this if you don't see this you can just create that connection again just click on to this plus button and here you need to give the name of your connection so if i give local let's say local instance is the connection name and here you need to give the password so here by clicking on to this a store in vault you can just give the password after password you can just click on to the contest connection and then click on to okay and here in this case i'm not going to create any other connections because i already have my connection here i'm just going to click on to cancel and uh, after that you can just see your connections here so if you click on to this you can now just open it by giving the password that you have set so i'll just enter my password that i made at the time of creation i just click on to okay and here you can see this is a editor so this is a navigator panel here on the left hand side this is the query one as you can see this is where we write our queries or you can say here we can write our programs to make databases or commands to create databases i'm just i can just make it large like this i can just if i slide it here i can make it large this is the sql additions and this is the output window so here you can create your program so i'll be covering this part in our next video so stay tuned for that so this is how you can install my sql in your machine so thanks for watching and this is all for this video guys hope you like it and i'll catch you guys in the next one so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel coders arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video thank you happy learning